Hello A plus traders. Today we are going to look at the third model of the price action course. This model is all about how to trade chart patterns. In this model, you will learn what are chart patterns, the types of chart patterns, how to identify chart patterns on the, on the charts, then also the best way to trade chart patterns. So this is what we are going to cover in this third model of this course but before we begin and before we jump into the first lesson for this model i want you to subscribe to this youtube channel a plus trading hub click the red subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our next video so chart patterns are geometric shapes which can help a trader not only to understand the price actions, but also to make projections of possible price movements or directions. Chart patterns are formations that provide insight into what forex traders are thinking and feeling at various price levels. Learning to recognize these various chart patterns gives you an advantage over traders who are only using fundamentals or technical indicators. So, you see this price action course is a is a comprises of other small technical um, strategies and analysis that you, if you merge them together you can get a concrete and solid strat strategy for trading any financial market be it crypto forex equities etc you need to pay attention to the details in this course especially this model this third model so you don't miss any information yeah. chart patterns are very very good personally i use them too and i use them to spot some the next major moves in the market so pay attention to it these chart patterns are are divided into three categories first we have the uh, continuation chart patterns this gives you an advanced warning when a currency pay is likely to resume its trend after a short consolidation period and how far the currency pay is likely to move in that direction so once anytime you see a continuation pattern this gives you an advantage a lead to know that price is going to continue the recent trend for example let's say price was in an uptrend and you see a continuation chart patterns it gives you a clue that price is going to continue that then there is also the reversal chart patterns this gives you an advanced warning when a currency pay is likely to turn around and begin a new trend this chart patterns most times happens at key zones at the support zones at the resistance zones or the supply and demand zones so most times you see this reversal chart patterns at these zones so when you see them at these zones, it gives you a lead, it gives you an advantage over other traders to see that price is going to make a U-turn. Then the next one are the bilateral chart patterns. This gives you an, an advanced warning when a currency pay is likely to turn around or continue its trend. So most times the bilateral chart patterns are seen in the middle of the chart. Sometimes you don't see them at the key zones sometimes you see them at the middle of the chart so when you see this bilateral chart pattern you just know that price may either continue the trend or make a u-turn but let's start with the continuation chart patterns my favorite chart patterns are the continuation chart patterns and the reversal chart patterns but let's start with the continuation chart patterns first is the bullish wedge as the name implies it's found in a bullish trend and look out for them on a bullish trend so if market is not trending up there is no need for you looking out for a bullish wedge so this forms as price of a currency pay pulls back to form a predominant uptrend and moves into a higher and tighter consolidation so this is how the bullish wedge looks like price moves moves in an uptrend and we have a pullback like this 
so you look for buying opportunities at this the micro support you see here so when price breaks out of this highs and retest it that is when you take a trade once price breaks out and retest it, look out for price rejections from here like you need to see some bullish candlestick formations then when you see those candlestick formations you take a buy and you place your stop loss at the previous lows then your take profit will be exactly the same length the same length of the first impulse your target will be the same length so if this first impulse was a hundred pip move that means your target will also be a hundred pip move so you just use maybe a trend line or the range and uh, tool or in trading view to measure this to measure this length here when you measure it you just know that here from your entry to your target should be the same number of pips so that is how you you trade the bullish wedge the next one is the bearish wedge is the opposite of the bullish wedge you look out for the bearish wedge when price is on a downtrend so when you see a downtrend and you see price pulling back like this you have to wait for it to break out of this highs and retest so once price breaks out and retests and you see some bearish price action there is some bearish impulse or bearish candlestick formations you take a sell from there and you place your stop loss below the previous swing high then your target will also be the same number of pips of the first impulse so that is how you trade a bearish wedge the next one is the bullish pennant bullish pennant it's a bit similar to the bullish wedge but if you look at this closely you notice that the bullish pennant gets tighter as the market is pulling back it gets tighter as in the wave gets smaller and smaller as, as it's moving until it breaks out and retests so one price breaks out and retests here here is where you look for bullish impulse and price rejections when you get that there from this level you take a buy you place your stop loss at the previous swing low here then your target will be exactly the same length of a first impulse so this was an impulse move here so let's say this impulse move was a 150 pip impulse move so your your entry to your target will also be a 150 pips that is how you trade the bullish pennant then we also have the bearish pennant it is the opposite of the bullish pennant you look out for them in a downtrend when you see prices trending down you see a tighter pull back like this you look out for a breakout of these lows then a retest when you get the retest you sell from here when you get some bearish impulse or rejections from there you sell place your stop loss above here and your target will be exactly the same length or distance of the first impulse so if here was about 200 pips just know that your target too will be 200 pips this is a trading strategy most professional traders and big boys in the market use to trade then the next one is my favorite chart pattern <laughs> i call this my favorite this is the bullish flag this is my favorite chart pattern i love identifying it and i love looking out for it when i'm trading it gives me strong confidence in what i'm doing so this is the bullish flag you look at you look out for it at when price is moving in an uptrend so when you see price in an uptrend and price is pulling back making a correction like this you wait for a breakout and retest during the retest you look out for price rejections from this the break of this highs here look out for price rejections there 
or bullish candlestick formation when you get such signal that is when you buy from here and your stop loss will be below the previous swing low and your target exactly the same length as the first impulse so if the impulse was about 300 pips just know your target should also be 300 pips so that is the bullish flag and that is how you trade the bullish flag the bearish flag is the opposite of the bullish flag so you also look out for them in a bearish trend so once you spot pullbacks like this in a bearish trend you wait for price to break out so when it, when it's forming this pullback it's forming a bearish flag so once price pull back and retests that is where you take a sell entry from there then your stop loss will be at the previous swing high and your take profit should be exactly the same distance the same length at which the first impulse was so if the first impulse was at 100 pip move your target should also be 100 pips why i also love these chart patterns is that it gives you a good risk to reward whenever you are trading it reduces your risk and increases your reward because for example on this trade you you'll be risking this small this small parts to make this whole bunch of trade so you are risking like let's say two dollar to make fifteen dollar that is the beauty of chart patterns that is why i love trading looking for chart patterns it helps me with good trade setups so let's look at the reversal chart patterns we start with the double top this occurs if a currency pay is in an uptrend it will form a double top by hitting the resistance zone two times and moves in the opposite direction so you look out for double tops when price approach a resistance zone so let's say for example this is a resistance zone here and price push up and approaches the resistance zone so when price retests the resistance zone two times like this forming a v pattern that means we may have a possible double top chart pattern here so all you need to do is that here you draw a neckline and you wait for price to break through the neckline and retest the neckline so when price breaks through the neckline and retest the neckline you sell from here when you see price rejection or bearish impulse from there and place your stop loss at least 50 pips away from the signal you got there then your target should also be exactly this same length here or if you are conservative you can measure from this high to the neckline to use as your target here is the double bottom the double bottom is the opposite of the double top it's like w so you look out for this double top at support zones for example here's a support zone and price is moving in a downtrend and hits your support zone twice while forming this v here so you plot a trend line like this to mark your neckline and you wait for price to break through the neckline and retest so once price breaks breaks through the neckline and retest and you see bullish impulse from here or price rejection you buy while you place your stop loss at least 50 pips away from the signal there and your target should be the same distance from your support to the neckline that should be your target target one and your target two should be at the beginning of the trend you know this was a downtrend so this is the end of the trend down here is the end of the trend up here is the beginning of the trend so your target one should be the same distance from the neckline to the support so if from the support to the neckline is about 50 pips so your target one should be 50 pips then your final target should be at the beginning of the downtrend so that is how you trade the double top and the double bottom the next reversal chart patterns i want to look at is the head and shoulders as the name implies it looks like the human head and shoulders this is the left shoulder 
this is the head and this is the right shoulder so that is why it's called the head and shoulder chart pattern so in this head and shoulder you look out for them at resistance zone so let's say price approaches a resistance zone is a resistance zone and price was moving in an uptrend and approaches a re resistance zone so once price makes this kind of movement the head should be higher than the shoulder that when price move pushes up higher than the shoulder that is when you are rest assured that this is a potential head and shoulder so you have to wait for price to break through the neckline retest the neckline when you see bearish impulse from the neckline or price rejection that is when you sell and you place your stop loss at least 50 pips away from the signal and your first tp should be exactly the same distance from your resistance to the neckline so if from your resistance to the neckline is 70 pips your fixed take profit should be 70 pips then your final take profit should be at the beginning of this trend which is down here so let's look at the inverted head and shoulder so this inverted head and shoulder gives rise to a bullish move so you spot this inverted head and shoulder at support zones so once price moves in a downtrend and, and reaches your support zone you watch out for the inverted head and shoulder chart pattern so this is your support zone now and price makes an inverted head and shoulder this is the shoulder this is the head and this the next shoulder and you mark your neckline like this so you wait for price to break through the neckline and retest it when you retest the neckline that is where you look out for buying signals from here so when you see a bullish impulse from here or price rejection from here that is when you buy and you place your stop loss at least 50 pips below that signal and your first target should be the same number of pips from the support zone to the neckline so if from your support zone to the neckline is about 100 pips that means your first target should be 100 pips final target take profit should be the beginning of that down trend and here is my favorite reversal chart pattern it's called the rising wedge you look out for this rising wedge at resistance zones so price moves in an in an uptrend and approaches resistance then start moving correctively to the upside like this so when you see such a move just be rest assured that price is going to break down and reverse when you get the breakdown and a retest of that corrective move you see some bearish impulse from here or some price rejection that is when you sell and your stop loss will be at least 50 pips away from the signal candle there and your final tp should be at the beginning of this trend your tp1 should be the distance between this other end of this corrective move to this other end here so let's say from here to here is 100 pips so that will be your tp1 100 pips from here so your tp1 will be 100 pips and your final tp will be at the beginning of this uptrend so that is how you trade the rising wedge this is my favorite reversal chart pattern so let's look at its brother or should i call it sister like the opposite of the rising wedge is the falling wedge it's the same way you just trade the rising wedge is how you trade the falling wedge the following which happen you look out for them at um, support zones let's say price approaches your support zone from a downtrend and you start seeing a corrective move like this into your support so all you need to do is mark it up like this with trend lines use trend lines to mark it up and watch out for a breakout and retest so once price retests the, that trend line and you see price rejection or bullish impulse you take a buy and your stop loss should be at least 50 pips away from the signal you saw and your final target should be at the beginning of this downtrend 
then your first TP should be the distance between these two trend lines here. So let's say this the distance between these two trend lines was 100 pips. So your first target will be 100 pips. And your final target will be at the beginning of that downward move. The previous downward move. So that is how you trade the falling wage. The next one is the triple top. The triple top is similar to the double top. But in this other scenario, market tends to hit the key levels at least three times. So for the triple top, you look out for them at resistance zones. So when prices are resistance zone and hits your resistance level at least three times, uh, that means there is a possibility, a higher pro uh, possibility that price is going to reverse to the downside. So when it hits the top three times, it's going to form this W pattern here, a W pattern here. So you take this as a neckline and wait for price to break down, retest it. So when it retests, you look out for bearish impulse and rejections. When you get that, that is where you sell and place your stop loss at least 50 pips away from the signal and your target should be at the beginning of the previous uptrend there. So that is how you trade the triple top chart pattern. And this is the triple bottom chart pattern. It's the opposite of the triple top. So you look out for them at your support zones. So when you see price you're testing your support zones up to three times forming the M pattern, mark up here as your neckline. So you wait for price to break out of that accumulation or consolidation retest. When you get a retest, you don't just jump in and buy. You have to wait to see some bullish impulse from there or price rejections. So you buy when you get an impulse from there, a bullish impulse, and your stop loss should be at least 50 pips away from the signal and your final target should be at the beginning of the previous down trend. So let's look at some bilateral chart patterns. As I said at the beginning of this model, the bilateral chart patterns are chart patterns which can break out both ways. You can either go up or reverse. So here is the ascending triangle. So this ascending triangle, sometimes it happens that you may spot them at resistance zones or you may even spot them at the middle of a train. So but if you should spot this ascending triangle at resistance zone, there is a higher probability that price is still to continue trending up. So let's say we have a resistance and price push up and you see the ascending triangle like this like price carving a series of higher lows into the resistance this shows that there are still buyers more buyers in the market so price may break up what you look out for now is when you see a, a breakout of that resistance and a retest you watch out for bullish candlestick formations bullish impulse or price rejections from there when you get that, that is when you buy and your stop loss should be at least 50 pips away from the signal you got and your TP should be exactly the same distance of the first impulse here. Also if it breaks down and retests you sell and your take profit is also the same number of pips as the first impulse there. So that is how you trade an ascending triangle. Here is the descending triangle. The same way you trade the ascending triangle is similar to the way you trade the descending triangle so but this descending triangle is more effective when you see them at support zones so when you see them at support zones and we see series of lower highs into the support zones this gives you a lead up the price will continue going lower so, and there's a, a, a higher probability 
that price will continue trending lower so when you see a descending triangle at support zone it is better you start looking for a, con a trend continuation so when price breaks down and we test and you get some bearish impulse from here that is when you sell and your stop loss should be at least 50 pips away from the signal there and your take profit should be this exact same number of pips of the first impulse there but also if price should break above and retest you buy and price push higher but most when i spot a bilateral chart pattern here like this i don't really look hard for it to reverse because from my experience it doesn't reverse out of 10 times it may reverse only two or three times and seven times it will continue the previous trend so when i see bilateral chart patterns like ascending triangle or descending triangle at key zones i look forward to continuing the trend not a reversal here is a symmetrical triangle most times this happens at um, the middle of nowhere the middle middle of a train so when you see this at the middle of the train all you do is using use your trend lines to form this triangle so when you use your trend lines to form this triangle you wait for a breakout if it breaks up and retest you buy or if it breaks down and retest you sell so when you sell or buy whether you sell or buy your take final take profit should be the same number of pips as the first impulse move so whether it's happening when price was going up or when price was coming down your final take profit should be the same number of pips as the first impulse the same number of pips as the first impulse so the last one we are going to consider as a bilateral chart pattern is the rectangle this rectangle is like the symmetrical triangle most times it happens at the middle of nowhere and sometimes it happens at the key zones it appears at the key zones so when you spot them it can either breaks up or breaks down so if it breaks up and we test the upper side of the train line here you buy if it breaks down and retest this lower lows here you sell then you place your stop loss 50 pips away from your signal and your target should be the same number of pips as the first impulse so that is how you you trade this chart patterns whether the continuation chart patterns the bilateral chart patterns or the reversal chart patterns so i know it for a start it may be very very difficult for you to spot these chart patterns but with time you get adapted to it you know how to spot them easily you start with the easiest one i, I would advise you start with the continuation chart patterns when you are good with the identifying the continuation part chart patterns you can now start looking for the reversal or the bilateral chart patterns here are a few tips to trading chart patterns number one is you must have at least three touches of both support and resistance on a chart pattern before you, you consider trading it now let me make an example here look at this ascending wedge it has this is the support here and this is the resistance and at the support and resistance there it has up to three touches this is one two and three up here two has one two and three before the breakout so if we are seeing price making a pullback and the touches on the support and resistance lines they are not up to three don't start looking for a breakout of that um, um channel let's take another example using the bullish flag this is a bullish flag you can also notice on this bullish flag this is your support here and this is the resistance there so on this pullback as price is moving up and down in the pullback this is the first touch here this is the second touch here and this is the third touch here also on the resistance we have one two three before the breakout so you have to make sure price does at least 
three touches on the support and resi resistance of the pullbacks before of the chart patterns or rather before look uh, looking at for a breakout look out for this chart patterns on the higher time frame if you are going to the 15 minutes time frame or five minutes time frame to look at the chart pattern that is wrong it's going to fail you the higher time frame is the be is where you get the best result so from four hour time frame above four hour time frame one hour time frame six six hours time frame eight hours time frame those are the best and time frames to look out for chart patterns now always wait for a, a retest after a breakout or a breakdown before entry and you can see also from all the ex examples i've shown you on this chart we have retest like this one like triple top we had a retest like the following wage we had a retest you must always see a retest at some points you may not see a full retest like a full retest of in the breakout you may not see a full retest of the breakout but at least you see price correction for example you see this was an is resistance price breaks out and don't retest you may not see this sometimes but you may see this this is a resistance price breaks out and corrects moves sideways so this sideways now is price correction you can join from here therefore giving you a small bullish flag to join so when you, you can see price breaks out move sideways then you join you take a, a, a buy there and continue buying to the upside so sometimes price may not do this may not retest like this like pullback but it may do this so once you see this you can still join the trend so that is retesting so you have to wait for a retest then place your stop loss away from the trade setup or you have seen all the examples here the stop loss are away the setup if you should look at all of them even the head, head and shoulder pattern or double top you see the the stop loss is above the signal above this trade setup so don't bring your stop loss too close to the trade setup it is not good because price may decide to retest that particular zone again and you get stopped out so these are the four important keys or tips to trading chart patterns anytime you spot a chart patterns or didn't identify a chart patterns on the screen make sure you, you observe these four things i'm talking about when you are trading it these are some quiz for you this quiz will help you uh, evaluate your trading and learning process so try to attempt these questions if you attempt this question and it's still hard for you to answer that means you there's something you are not getting well you are not getting straight so attempt these questions they are very very simple and straightforward then for the pro trader course you can also join the pro trader course if you want to learn how to spot some big moves in the market like if you want to learn how to trade like an investor you can enroll for the pro traders course to enroll for the pro traders course just click the link below this video thank you for going through this um, tutorial i believe you learned a thing or two from this tutorial and if you learn something from this tutorial like the video and if there are some lessons you didn't understand comment on this video i will look at them then give you more examples don't forget to subscribe to this channel a plus trading up and you can follow us on social media on facebook on twitter on instagram a plus trading hub and you can also contact me directly on whatsapp if you have personal questions